Hello everybody, Live Life A072 here. I want to bring a video up to your attention. It was posted yesterday on YouTube, and the name of the video is Atheism is Under the Wrath of God by user Schwimer100. This was brought to my attention by two subscribers of mine, Logical Statements 3 and also Essence of Thought. Thank you guys. Now, I love doing these types of videos, reason being is that it just shows how insane psychologically some of these devout Christians are on YouTube and I love exposing these types of people because it really harms their cause. But the way this guy acts in this video is what I really want to expose. If you want to get your point across, you don't act like this guy here, okay? This just shows how fucked up mentally this guy is, okay? So I'm only going to play a few excerpts from the video because the video is 26 minutes long so I really don't want to play the whole video but I'll link it below so you guys can check out the whole video if you want to. So sit back and enjoy. Hi folks, it's uh, Jason. Hope you're okay today. Uh, just a quick message to uh, the atheists out there. We get quite a few atheists coming on Zwema 100 and I just got a message uh, for the atheists out there. We hear a lot about the atheists saying, well, we're atheists because there's no evidence for God. And uh, because there is no evidence for God, then we are atheists. So what does Zwema 100 have to say? The world is full of the evidence of God. The whole world screams of the glory of God. And how dare you stand there and say that there is no evidence of Almighty God when all the evidence that you need is there. Every tree, every flower, every plant that you see, every bird shows the magnitude and the glory of God. Now Jason, for you to say God created all the trees, birds, animals is a statement man-made written down in a 2,000 year old book. This can't be used as a form of evidence or facts. Now evolution has a mountain of evidence to prove how life came to be. It's not perfect, but as science progresses in the future, more evidence will be revealed to prove what we still may not know. Creationism is a theory based on man-made ideas, as evolution is not. God is all-powerful. God is glorious, majestic, and awesome. And you dare defy the living God? You dare say there is no evidence of God? How dare you? God is great and glorious and majestic and God has given a standard he's given a law do not lie do not steal do not commit adultery and if we sin against God we stand against an almighty God of wrath and judgment you might play games and go on YouTube and listen to Thunderfoot and Xenia Jones and Go Green 18 and it's all a game and it's all a playing an intellectual game but you are not playing a game when you meet the living God you are meeting almighty God and if you do not turn you will come under his wrath and you will go to hell for a lost eternity now Jason playing games I don't think the atheist community out there is playing games or the non-believers we are not playing games on YouTube what we are doing is promote reason logic and teaching people to be free thinkers and look at the evidence and facts at hand compared to superstition. That's what we're doing, okay? You're the one playing the games when it comes down to the fear tactic game, okay? You're promoting this eternal hell which does not exist. It is not mentioned in your Bible. And if it was mentioned in your Bible, it would make your God completely unjust, okay? So who's playing the games? I think it's you playing the games, okay? Promoting fear. Promoting slavery. Okay, because that's what it is. You're a slave to God, uh, and so on and so forth. I don't need to go into too much detail. I'm pretty sure you know where I'm coming from. And you said, Jason, I thought you believe in a God of love. I do believe in a God of love. And I do believe he loves you. But you cannot play around with God. You cannot mess with God. He is almighty and powerful. How dare you play around with him? How dare you play your silly little intellectual games with Almighty God? In conclusion, it's people like you, Jason, I enjoy exposing to the YouTube community and society. It's people like you that push a theological viewpoint based on superstition. People like you shouldn't worry about people like us. We live our lives free of man-made fairy tales. We don't live in fear or as a slave like you do walking on eggshells every day. 
you are doing more harm than good when it comes to your type of preaching. It's people like you that make the moderate Christians rethink their religious position on life. It's people like you that help contribute to the growing numbers of non-believers in this world. So for that, Jason, I thank you. Live life because you only have one.